Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video I made for Home Studio of my concrete casting process. Hi there, welcome to uh, my little concrete making video, concrete casting. I am here making a mold for a largely two-dimensional concrete piece that I plan to um, use as a uh, relief and something that I can paint on. It's also a good way to make any other kind of casting that you're looking for as long as you're not going functional. Um, so right now I'm preparing the board that is going to be the main uh, fixture for the piece that I'm making. So um, I want to make sure that it has some tooth. When you're casting concrete, it's really important to make sure that whatever surface you're using to adhere the concrete to or whatever armature um, has a um, something for the concrete to attach to. If the concrete just goes up to the board, then it will have a very high likelihood of um, fissuring off from the board if it has any stress. It just makes it more stable. After that, you want to make sure you have a flask. Um, this flask is just a basic wooden rectangle. Its whole job is to prevent the concrete from leaking out and containing it to the top of the board so that um, it creates and keeps the shape that I want it to. Um, mixing your concrete is pretty um, easy going. Um, if you were making a structural block or something that you needed to hold a lot of weight, you would want to very specifically follow a set of instructions to make sure that that concrete mixture had a, um, it passed the slump test. Um, but in this case, I am looking for a particular finish on the concrete. I want something a little bit shinier. And so I am um, making it a little bit of a thinner mixture. It's important to mix it thoroughly because the rock element of the concrete settles to the bottom, whereas the sand and the cement sometimes rises to the top. You don't want to end up with a pile of rocks at the bottom um, and at the top of your, uh, your casting. So um, you want to mix it thoroughly. I usually keep adding um, concrete until um, there's like a little mountain that appears at the top. It's very similar to casting plaster, if you've ever done that before. Um, it helps you to sort of understand the saturation of um, what you're going to see. So you want to mix thoroughly, and then once you're ready to go, it's time to dump that in. I usually just go for it, um, just dump it in. I'm not too concerned about water leaking, so I didn't make an, um, a watertight mold. What you could do in this case, if you wanted, would be to um, take some caulk and sort of seal the edges so that it wouldn't leak, but it's just water, it doesn't really matter. So then you want to pat all the cement concrete mixture down so that it fills all the little spaces all the way up to the edge of your flask. Um, you can agitate it in whatever way that you want. You can use a trowel like I do, um, or a hammer, or what, whatever you want. Your fist is fine. The idea being that you are removing any bubbles or negative spaces that form naturally from the rock going against this side of the flask. Um, it's a, a, a way to get a stronger form regardless. I use a hammer at the last bit just to get all those little bubbles out. And then um, usually it needs to sit for only like 24 hours, depending on the temperature, and you will have a casting. Here's a small view of my studio space on Howard Street. I'm really in love with it. I have lots of little surfaces and access to all my tools and materials. I really enjoy being there with my dog and uh, my plants. There is a nice spot for me to read and write and look at my sketchbook and then also a little area for my workshop and um, sort of like the concrete stuff, the dirty stuff. And then I also have a zone where I have clean work, which is where I do all my drawing and printmaking. Um, also, I have attached a couple images of recent concrete casting work I've done and um, just work with cement in general on fabric. Um, I was also lucky enough to go to the Vermont Studio Center for a residency in February, so I have attached a few images of my work from there, too. Um, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or um, Gmail. Thanks a lot.